Hey, what's up, guys? It's Shogun X, and this is me, the dude. And here we're gonna talk about the Cocaine Bear movie. Yep. If you guys haven't seen this, make sure to watch it. It's like a, it's like a nice, sit back, relax type, funny type movie, you know. I mean, you might as well do it while you're high because that's what this movie wants you to do. So. Uh, man, we do not endorse that. That's for YouTube demonetization guidelines or whatever. Alright, so let's oh, get yeah. straight to it. So let's talk about the plot summary. So, so this movie, yeah, go go ahead. This uh, movie is based off of some real events that happened in 1985, where some uh, smugglers tried flying over with drugs, but you know, from the plane malfunction and. The guy, you know, just dropped it all down. Like, you know, that's very environmentally friendly, this man. And, yeah, uh, you know, and in the movie, like, there's these, um, well, two kids. They 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 go, like, what do they even do? They just, like, try to get attention from their mom, right? They just go off in the woods. And then yeah. they see, like, there's a bag of cocaine. And there's, like, a bunch of, like, comedic elements. And that, like, the kids and just, like, them looking at cocaine. And, like, oh, what, what should we do with it? And then, uh, well, yeah. they see the bear and they start running from it. There's like a bunch of plots in this movie, right? right? There's like a B plot, C plot. You know, just imagine it's not even much. It just is based, loosely based off the like, you know, real life events. Like all, all that happened from what I could tell, the bear, he, he it came across the cocaine, you know, like took a, to inhaled it, and it went absolutely crazy. It just like, you know, ran a hundred miles and it just popped down dead. And now its body is like, you know, stuck in some museum somewhere. Yeah, that's like but, the real life thing. Yeah, the Pablo Escobar bear. Now they're just, you know, they just saw, you know, I wonder what this bear would think about this movie. Honestly, you know, the it was bear. <laughs> well, what else? Like, anything else important in the plot that we have to mention here? Uh, it's an okay plot, you know, because, you know, it's a comedy, just I don't suspect it to be a lot. But yeah, you like you said, there are a lot of plots that do juggle around, you know, with the daughter, like, yeah, the daughter, the mom, you know, and the then two, two other kids. guys, right? They're one yeah, of them like, like a drug dealer yeah the drug dealer um subplot then we have the the beginners plot with um opening with the two people then you meet that guy again and you also meet some um, over the like three like, like these cops these cops honestly yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah the poor like cop with the dog the white dog yeah yeah that dude like, I, I don't know what his character was yeah, like I feel like these characters don't have a lot of time to develop, like the uh, the cop with the dog, and then the lady cop, apparently, who had a dog, but she joins the villain out of nowhere. And then we have the main villain, the guy with the gun. He just pops up like, hey, I need that stuff. <laughs> like he just pops up. But I, those are just like the characters. Who, who's your? Do you have like a favorite character in this movie, other than the bear, of course? <laughs> well, I don't. A lot of the characters, I can't even remember their names. I but, feel like the you know, only like character that had like good acting was probably the mom. You know, like I, I enjoy, I kind of like the subplot where, you know, where the drug dealers all like, you know, the three of them, like, you know, go off to, to the, the, what was that place called? To get the thing. One guy who lost his finger, the other guy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That whole scene was also funny, yeah. The, yeah. the police officer shoots him. Um, okay, so those are the characters I guess we just talked about. The action. I feel like, you want to talk about the action in this movie? I feel like it really just gets peaked. That ambulance scene, that's my favorite scene. Yeah, ambulance scene. Well, which one was that? Can you remind me? No, oh, the one where yeah, they... yeah, I remember when like the two rangers come to like, rescue. The pair of oh, yeah. and like, That was scene was just... That scene was a lot of fun. They, they yeah, just come the in. they're pair... just chasing the... That scene it was just, you know, just crazy and it was just fun to watch. Yeah. Also, like, the scenes where the the bear was climbing up the trees. Honestly, I, I did not know bears could climb up that high. At all. A high bear can climb higher. Faster. Yeah, also, like, speaking of that scene, man, like, remember, like the bear just, like, rips that dude's arm off? There's oh, yeah. a bunch of gore, like, in this movie. Kind of like so, a comedic horror type movie not even horror but I don't know do you remember or what was that the, the girl do you remember the mom and the her daughter it was like the subplot with them like her yeah own. yeah like they were separate like they were kind of separate because like she was kind of like upset like like oh um you're going she to see this time with them they had to go somewhere uh, on the weekend right yeah. 
that veil gets developed. You know, for someone, for a mother who lost her daughter to like some crazy bear, you'd expect her to go more crazy. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You could definitely tell. Like in scenes where, like, I would hope there would be like tension, there wasn't that much tension. But I guess just because it's like a calm, comedic movie. Yeah. Speaking of comedy, what did you think of it? The comedy was, I think, it was decent. I had some chuckles. Remember those like three drug dealers, like those teenagers? Like the yeah. oh, you one scene I did like was the bathroom scene where um, I got his name right here, the beef, the the drug dealer. He just like, beats, yeah, he just beats all those guys up, those teenagers. I think he was my favorite character. Yeah, too bad he got his finger <laughs> shot. Uh, I guess another scene was a bear lays right on top of the other guy. He just said such a weird event. You don't oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he asked, how can you tell that's a girl? Yeah, that was a piece of comedy right there. Yeah, we um, can't save right but with you guys to watch it. Yeah, like, yeah, I haven't seen it yet. It's like a decent movie. I feel like, I feel like a, a lot with the other humor are just like, you know, characters acting like wonky or just, you know, it's like, like, oh, like, look at these southern kids, like, you know, us, or we'll stretch out those accents and yell, you know? <laughs> awesome Forrest Gump type stuff, you know? Yeah. Uh, so themes of the movie, do you, did you, like, catch any themes or did anything stand out to you? It's a comedy movie. What theme was it going to be? Don't do cocaine? Don't That's do cocaine. a good theme right there, you know? That's a good theme right there. Bro, you, you think any drug dealer is just gonna watch this and think, wow, no, maybe I should stop doing it? I don't know, no, Pablo Escobar might change his mind after this movie. Um, what else? I mean, I guess, is there like a theme about like the environment, like how you shouldn't harm it? Or is that like a reach? Uh, I think that may be a reach. Alright, okay. So what do you think about like the ending of the movie where, um, remember that cave scene? Yeah, I think it was kind of predictable, like, you know, the two cubs. Yeah, and all the thing bad guy, and then like you know the oh wow the last bit of uh, cocaine drops and the mom comes back to life. Yeah, that was kind of like uh, like Compound D. If you watch The Boys, what mm-hmm. else? That's like like you know, you know that show Popeyes? Is it Popeyes the sailor? Yeah, we're definitely gonna be talking about The Boys soon, so stay tuned for that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what else? Anything else that happened in the ending that was interesting? I think it's just a big typical iron thing. They just did their thing, and that's it. The big bad guy dies, and that's it. Well, yeah. Basically that, yeah. Okay, so if you had to like, rate this movie, what would you give out of 10? A 6. 6 out of 10. You know, yeah, it's... I think it's the first time we're actually going agree. I give it a 6 also. Yeah. You know, Decent. I feel like people think like this, like anything like below a 7 is bad. And people gotta realize that five is average. Six is still like above average. Four is like pretty bad. Yeah, like at least like it had my attention. Like I had I had like some good laughs throughout the movie. So like yeah, I give it a six and that's like overall six score six. So like, do you have any finishing thoughts on this movie? Um, I believe um this movie could have been better. But you know, as it is, it is it's, it's okay. It's fine. It I I'm glad that I watched it. Yeah. But yeah, mm-hmm. so that's the that's the video guys, make sure to like and subscribe.